What are you doing? Preparing the expedition north. Expedition north? I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. The Starks and Targaryens have united against us, and you want to fight alongside them. Are you a traitor or an idiot? You pledged our forces. Jamie and Cersei have always been Game of Thrones' two closest characters in a totally unhealthy, gross way. But also in the same sense, they've never been close to turning their backs on one another. And there have been times where it seemed Jamie was about to say goodbye, like after she blows up the Sept of Baylor, of course. But he's always stuck by her, leading to us to think that their bond was unbreakable. However, the bond finally breaks in the season seven finale when Cersei reveals to Jamie that she was lying about the truce and will not be helping Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen fight the great war against the dead. Smirking, Cersei insults Jamie's intelligence and declares that she has no intention of ever allying, uh, ever allying with the Starks or the Targaryens at that. And he's just kind of like, wow. And she had co-inspired with Euron Greyjoy and neglected to tell him when he told her that he basically didn't want her to actually even do anything with the Greyjoys. But I think this might blow up in her face, but we'll just talk about that later. But most importantly, flabbergasted that she um, can so bl blatantly ignore that the very real fact that the White Walkers are coming, obviously she's seen it in her, uh, with her own eyes. Um, Jamie finally walks away from Cersei telling her with finality I don't believe you so he's kind of upset about you know who she's become like I think he kind of really sees who she truly is and I think the statement Elena made made him actually start to think about his alliances so now that Jamie is out of Cersei's clutches and seems to be heading out of King's Landing what does it all mean here's that here's what it probably means so let's go into that Jamie finally acts on his honor and he's not going to go down with Cersei so I think that's a really good power move for him he's even looking real good right now he's even looking better to me as you know he's always been cute but he's looking more handsome you know not so much like brother um, fall in love with Cersei type situation we can't really say much here because you know don't want to get restricted so Cersei will devolve into the Mad Queen even more now you heard of the Mad King well, there's pretty much nothing stopping Cersei from fully being the Mad Queen now. Now, Jaime was really the only one keeping her sane. And without him, she's free to be crazy as she wants to be. I mean, the signs are already kind of there. Kind of, I think that every step of the way that we've been going, they've been there. Um, but she's so selfish. She only thinks of herself. And it seems like her pregnancy was just made up. Or maybe she's doing this to keep him there. She's willing to do whatever she has to do to protect what, you know, is good for her. You know, obviously this offspring means a whole lot. Um, but I'm not sure about drinking the poison on your lips. I don't know if that's going to get to the baby and kill it. So we got to think about that as well. Um, because that's something very, very possible that could happen. Now, he's probably going to fight alongside John Daenerys is the next thing I think may happen. Sure, Jamie is kind of one of those characters that he could just go to the country of Castle Rock. Um, but at this point, we can see it's transparent that he really does want to fight against the White Walker threat. And seriously, that he's surely going to join the forces against the Night King um, with, ja with Jamie being there. He loves to battle. He loves to fight. And um, I think that it's really cool. So Costa Waddell also thinks Jamie is going north. So that's kind of what he thinks. So I'm just letting you know that my boy thinks that he's going north too. And I think he is as well. So as you can see on the map, um, he's actually closer to Winterfell than he would be to anything else. Now he could go to the Twins or you know go to the area that um, Edmore Tully is at. But at this point, that's, um, that's just not important. Now he also um, doesn't seem to have the hate in his heart for the Starks and Targaryens that would prevent him from joining them, especially since this is the greater good. And oh, this is this would also mean that he would be able to hang out with Brienne again. Maybe he could even go get Bronn to come. But we have to think about one thing. I don't think Giant Spain knows about him. So we'll see how that goes. If you listened to the last video, you might want to listen to me to the spoiler on season eight on what happened to him. 
Let's just say things didn't end the way you might have thought. Now, the long-held theory that Jamie might kill Cersei could come through, but I'm kind of on the side that I think that it's going to likely be Arya pretending to be Jamie. Obviously, the height does not matter with the faceless men. As we can see, she's not as tall as, <laughs> as Walder Frey. I don't know if she's on stilts. I don't know. But if Cersei isn't on Jon and Daenerys' side, she's a huge threat. She cares only about reserving herself. It's kind of the same thing that Euron thinks as well. If you haven't watched that Euron Greyjoy um, actual theory that I have for season uh, eight, then you might want to go ahead and watch that as well. Now, again, Jamie's recognition, um, you know, definitely has come at a long time overdue at this point. Um, he left Cersei, and that's kind of what Leanne, um, Olena was kind of hinting to that he should just leave her. She's just a bad person and shouldn't be involved. So it would be poetic if he fulfills the theory based on Cersei's prophecy. And it will be Jamie who's killed Cersei. Maybe just a mercy kill, like I told you. We don't know what's going to happen. We do have, um, we have, you know, there's a lot of things going on. I will be actually updating you later with why I think Euron might take King's Landing. So you might want to go ahead and chill with me on that one. Thank you so much for joining me. And what does it mean now? Where's Jamie going? I think it's going to the north. And let me know what you think today on this video. My name is Elle, and thank you for tuning in to The Throne Room. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.